Start your day with remembrance of us. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا رحمتك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام أو الله عز وجل Open the doors of knowledge and wisdom for us Have mercy on us O the one who is the most honorable the most gracious بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله مرحبا أهلا وسهلا بكم to all our viewers and listeners of Madani channel ثم الحمد لله all praises belong to Allah Azza wa Jal our sustainer, provider, cherisher and nourisher the master of the day of judgment the owner, initiator and creator of everything that exists we send peace and blessings upon his most exalted and celebrated prophet. The peace of our hearts and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is resting beneath the illuminous dome in Madinatul Munawwara. We send peace and blessings upon his illustrious family and noble companions, alayhi muridwan. Dear viewers of Madini channel, this is the early echo. And for those who are watching us off the social media, such as our Facebook page or our YouTube channel, or for those who are watching this program off the satellite in various parts of the world, we say marhaba, ahalan wa sahalan bikum to every one of you. May Allah Azza wa Jalla accept all your ibadat. Thumma alhamdulillah, we would love to begin with the recitation of Durudi Park and thereafter, since it is the morning part in South Africa, so we would love to start off with a hamde bari ta'ala. Let us listen to the blessings of reciting Durood. And they after, inshallah, we would listen to this beautiful hamd, inshallah. The Prophet of Rahmah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has stated in a hadith, Zayyinu majalisakum bi salati alayya, fa inna salatakum alayya nurul lakum yawm al-qiyama. Adorn your gatherings by reciting durood upon me, for the durood which you recite upon me shall be light and nur for you on the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar. This means... We should always adorn our get-togethers and gatherings, our family get-togethers. That is to say, whenever you, ha you have a family union, there is a family get-together where everyone uh, meets up, then always start your programs and your conversations by reciting durood, salutations and salams upon the most exalted creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. By doing so, you will see blessings, inshallah, Azza wa Jal. How beautiful is this dear viewers of Madani channel. Huzur aisa karam, kaash mujh pe ho jaye, mera wazifa, durudu salam ho jaye. Subhanallah, subhanallah. So, we begin our day in the remembrance of Allah, Azza wa Jal. Chal, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, mil kar ke ye hamd padte hain. May Allah, Azza wa Jal, grant us his love and grant us the love of his beloved Habib, Muhammad Rasulullahi. صلى الله عليه وسلم الله 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 بلبل توتي پروانا هر ایک اس کا دیوانا بلبل توتي پروانا بلبل توتي پروانا هر ایک اس کا دیوانا کمری کس کا مستانا کمری کس کا مستانا کون چکوڑ کا جانانا اللہ 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 جز میں وہ ہے کل میں وہ 
رنگ و بوئے گل میں وہ جز میں وہ ہے گل میں وہ رنگ و بوئے گل میں وہ افغان بل بل میں وہ افغان بل بل میں وہ نغمات کل کل میں وہ اللہ 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 Dear viewers of Madani channel there is no doubt whatsoever that Allah Azza wa Jalla has placed peace and blessings in his zikr in his remembrance when you make the zikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla you will most definitely attain tranquility and peace and contentment within your heart It's for no other reason Allah Azza wa Jalla has mentioned this in these words in the glorious Quran-i Pak Ala bi zikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub Verily the satisfaction of the heart is within the zikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla When you make his zikr this is the summary of the ayah the of viewers of Madani channel that The more zikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla you shall make, the more contentment you will experience within your heart. The more satisfied your heart would be. It would be at peace. Your heart wouldn't race. Your heart wouldn't chase you. And this is only when you wholeheartedly remember Allah Azza wa Jalla. Take His name from the depths of your heart. Let's make this dua collectively. Mawla dil ka zang chura قلب نوری پائے جلا مولا دل کا زنگ چھڑا قلب نوری پائے جلا دل کو کر دے آئینا دل کو کر دے آئینا جس میں چمکے یہ کلمہ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ آمنا برسول اللہ Allahu 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 صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وسلم عليك يا سيدي يا نبي الله So our discussion for this morning dear viewers of Madani channel is the Eid of the beloved Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم We love him And we follow the sunnah of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So in today's episode and program, we are discussing how did the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spend his Eid? What are the things that we should adopt as the followers of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And since we claim to love him, so how can we fulfill this claim uh, by following his teachings and sunnah? How can we bring that into practice, inshallah, azza wa jalla, and inculcate that within our lives is what we are discussing just after this beautiful and amazing kalam that we are going to be listening to just within a moment. So stay tuned with Madani channel, inshallah, till the end of our episode and program. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ala muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. یہ ایک جان کیا ہے اگر ہوں کروڑوں یہ ایک جان کیا ہے اگر ہوں کروڑوں تیرے نام پر تیرے نام پر سب کو بارا کروں میں آپ پر قربان میری جان یا رسول اللہ نبی پہ جائے 
قسمت ہے یہ ہماری ہر دم گے لب پر جاری قسمت ہے یہ ہماری ہر دم گے لب پر جاری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری آپ پر قربان میری جان یا رسول اللہ سب دور ہو گئے ہیں رنجو لمحہ مارے سب دور ہو گئے ہیں ہم ذکر مصطفیٰ سے مسرور ہو گئے ہیں ہم ذکر مصطفیٰ سے مسرور ہو گئے ہیں مسرور سدا ہے یہ ہماری چھوڑے ہم دنیا داری سدا ہے یہ ہماری چھوڑے ہم دنیا داری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری آپ پر قربان میری جان یا رسول اللہ موسیقی وہ خوش نصیب جن کو حاصل ہے ان کی نسبت پاتے ہیں چین و راہت کرتے ہیں ان کی مدہت کہتی ہے دنیا ساری حسرت ہے یہ ہماری کہتی ہے دنیا ساری حسرت ہے یہ ہماری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری آپ پر قربان میری جان یا رسول اللہ موسیقی ذکر نبی سے اپنے سینے کو جگمہ گائے دربار مصطفیٰ میں سر اپنا ہم جھوکائے دربار مصطفیٰ میں سر اپنا ہم جھوکائے سر اپنا ہم جھوکائے ہو عشق ندامت کے آنکھوں سے اپنی جاری ہو عشق ندامت کے آنکھوں سے اپنی جاری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری نبی پہ جائے صدقے نبی پہ جائے واری آپ پر قربان میری جان یا رسول اللہ 
Subhan Allah, welcome back to your viewers of Madani channel and this was a new kalam that we were just listening to and watching on Madani channel. Subhan Allah, may Allah Azza bless us through the sadaqa and wasila of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May we be sacrificed upon his blessed feet, arwahu nafida. May our bodies and souls be sacrificed upon him just as his blessed sahaba alayhi muridwan had sacrificed everything at the feet of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, uh, there is a beautiful parable in the Holy Quran Park that speaks about how the Bani Israel had made a day in which Allah Azza wa Jalla had sent down a feast for them. And this parable has been described and mentioned in the Holy Quran Park. As they said, to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu was salam, Allah Zawajalla had described this entire parable in the Holy Quran Park. Here in this verse, dear viewers of Madani channel, you would learn that the son of Maryam, all Isa ibn Maryam, Isa, the son of Maryam, said, Rabbana anzala alina ma'idatan min as samai takunu lana idan li awwalina wa akhirina wa ayatan minik. Allahu Akbar. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, O oh our Lord, Send down to us a, 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 a table spread from heaven. Allahu Akbar. He says from heaven so that it may become a day of celebration for us. It may become a day of Eid for us. Send down a table spread from heaven. Why? So that it may become a sign for us, a day of Eid for us. Allahu Akbar. For which people? For the former and for the latter people and a sign from you and give us sustenance and you are the best provider of sustenance. Allahu Akbar. Indeed, then Allah Azza wa Jalla said, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qal Allahu inni munazziluha alaykum fa man yakfur ba'du minkum fa inni u'adhibuhu azaban la u'adhibuhu ahadan min al-alameen. And Allah Azza wa Jalla said, indeed I am sending it down to you. So therefore, whoever disbelieves among you, I will surely punish him with a punishment with which I shall not punish anyone else in the world. Allahu Akbar. So here, they had demanded for a feast from heaven. Who had demanded this? The followers of Isa alayhi salatu was salam, the Bani Israel, they had demanded this. Now the reason for them to demand this, Isa alayhi salatu was salam even warned them and said to them that, how could you even demand something like this? They mentioned that, Ya Sayyidi, we are hungry. We're not doing this to test. We do believe, but our faith will be even more strengthened. And your truthfulness in you claiming to be the Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jalla will also 
be declared by this when you would uh, request this in the court of Allah Azza wa Jalla for him to send down to us a feast from heaven. Then Allah Azza wa Jalla said, fine, this feast will descend, but thereafter if anyone disbelieves, then he will face such torment which no one on this earth had ever faced. Dear viewers of Madani channel, it has been now mentioned in the tafsir of um, uh, this surah, Allahu Akbar, that what type of food then descended from the heaven? It has been mentioned uh, that a fish then descended and uh, there were roti, there were olives and cheese with this. There were various other foods that descended with this. And this day, this is the point we want to make, became the day of Eid for them. From amongst them, those who disbelieved, it has been mentioned that Allah had transformed them into pigs. For three days, they remained in that state because... Allah had sent down food for them as per their demand. They began to save that without having trust for the next day. And when they done so, Isa والسلام, had warned them by saying, Do not save for the next day. Have tawakkul in Allah, the Rabb. That Rabb who had fed you today will also feed you and provide for you tomorrow. Wallahu khayrul raziqeen. He is the best of providers. But these people began to save and because of doing so, Allah Azza had punished them so severely, dear viewers, that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam then made dua for their death, seeing them in the pity condition, transformed into pigs. What types of people ever existed on the face of this earth? It is beyond imagination. Now imagine for a moment, when this Eid were granted to the previous Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam, this day became a day of celebration for them. Likewise, Allah Azza had bestowed the month of Ramadan upon the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and in this Ramadan, the Quran was also revealed upon the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and through his sadqah and wasila jamila, Allah Azza had then blessed us with this Mubarak and blessed day which is the day of Eid. The whole concept is that this day should never just be about meeting and greeting. This day should just never be about wearing nice clothes. It should never just be about going around with your family. What is the essence of Eid? How can we inculcate the day of celebration? Meaning how this day was celebrated by the Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Can we celebrate this day like that? This is the question. Now let's, now let's hear about the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aside from the Sunan of Eid, as the Prophet Sallallahu would eat something before he would leave, when he would return in the direction he would leave, the asunan, the amustahabbat, with regards to the day of Eid, what should be done and what should not be done. But let me give you a beautiful parable that will shake your iman, that will awaken you from the inside for those who don't show shafqat and love to children, for those who are unkind towards orphans, for those who unjustly consume the wealth of the poor. Listen to this fragrant and beautiful story which have been quoted and mentioned by various scholars of Islam. It is the day of Eid and the Prophet of Rahmah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is going for Eid Salah in the early parts of the morning. And as he goes and he proceeds towards Eidgah, he then passes a young boy who is an orphan. He has the signs of tears on his eyes, on his cheeks. The Prophet of Rahmah sallallahu alayhi wasallam stopped for him as this young boy had drawn the attention of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam. After approaching him, he sallallahu alayhi wasallam inquired as to what has caused you to cry. This often child says to the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam, I am crying for I have no supporter in my life. I am an orphan, I had lost my father and since then I have no shelter, I have no supporters, I have no guardians, I have no one to take care of me. Allahu Akbar. As he said these words, dear viewers of Madani channel, and he expressed, expressed his heartfelt desires to the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our beloved Aqa, Sarvari Kainat, Ahmadi Mukhtar, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to him, Oh young boy, as of today, I am as your guardian, as your supporter, Allahu Akbar. Now tell me, oh young boy, aren't you happy about this? The Prophet of Rahmah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, taken him to his home and ordered the family members to have him ready. It's for this reason in Sahih al-Bukhari, Aisha Siddiqa radiyallahu anha 
the beloved and blessed wife of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated that Nabi Kareem Raufur Rahim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned in Jannah there is a home called Darul Farah. Darul Farah. And only those who show kindness and those who are merciful towards children will be made to enter through this home in Jannah. Dear viewers of Madani channel, how amazing this is, subhanallah. Darul Farah. Only those who make happiness enter into the hearts of children will be made to enter into this place called Darul Farah. May Allah make us all enter into this palace and place, subhanallah, which is specially prepared for those who show kindness and mercy towards children. And this is the style and the tariqah of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa In fact, the viewers of Adhani channel, let me just elaborate a little more on this. It's mentioned in various other ahadith as well with regards to shafqat and the, the kindness of the beloved Rasul sallallahu upon children that even when he would enter into Madinatul Munawwara from any journey, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would not just enter into the city of Madinatul Munawwara. Rather, he would stop his ride and conveyance at the entrance of Madinatul Munawwara for the children of Madina would surround the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would never ever break the heart of any child. So what he would do, it has been mentioned in Sirat Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the Prophet of Rahmah, the peace of our hearts and minds, the most generous and kind sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would then make one child sit before him. Dear viewers of Madini channel, Adirat dekhe subhanallah, just to please kids and children to what level and what extent our Aqa and our Master sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would go dear viewers. This is a beautiful trait on the day of Eid. If you and I could learn how to show kindness, how to be merciful towards orphans, this is a great trait of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Sayyidi Ala Hazrat Parvana Isha Mi Risalat Imam Al Kalam Kalam Al Imam Al Shah Maulana Mufti Ahmad Rida Khan Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali has penned and composed this beautiful kalam in which he speaks about the excellence of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he refreshes our aqeedah when he says, Subhanallah. Chupugay. Let us listen to this Madani Pearl, inshallah. Stay tuned with Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. On the day of Eid, some people came to the house of Sayyidina Umar Farooq Azam radiallahu ta'ala anhu to meet and greet him. But the door was closed and the sound of crying was emanating from the house. When the door opened, they asked surprisingly, O Amir al-Mu'mineen radiallahu ta'ala anhu, today is Eid and everyone is delighted. 
Why are you crying? He radiallahu ta'ala anhu replied, wiping his tears, O oh people, this is the day of celebration as well as the day of warning. Indeed, this is Eid for the one whose salah and fast have been accepted. But it is the day of Wa'id. This is the day of warning for the one whose salah and fast have been rejected and thrown onto his face. I am crying because I do not know whether my worship has been accepted or rejected. Allahu Akbar Kabira. May Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy on him and forgive us without accountability for his sake. Ameen. Bijahi Nabi Ameen. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Welcome back dear viewers of Madani channel. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Our respected Muballigh of Da'wat Islami was sharing with us these amazing and beautiful pearls. Alhamdulillah. It has been mentioned uh, with regards to a companion by the name of Abu Talha. An. He has stated that the Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jalla, whenever he would come to my home, my son Umair, he had a bird, Allahu Akbar. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whenever he would enter the home, he would say, Ya Aba Umair, ma fa'ala nughair. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, would play with my child in this way by asking him, Ya Aba Umair, O oh, Abu Umair, O oh, the son of Umair, ma fa'ala nughair. What did your bird nughair do today? What did he say today? What did he do? Dear viewers of Madani channel, this is uh, a great teaching of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For those who have become parents, Allah has made you uh, a mother or a father. And Allah has given you this darja and tested you with being a parent. It's, your, it's the right of your child that you instill in him the correct values. And you discipline them for the correct reasons. So inshallah, if you want them to be soldiers of the future, subhanallah, if you want to instill in them Islamic values, subhanallah, then instill in them and teach them the seerah and the biography of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's important for them to understand and note and remember the life of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, being strict with them and disciplining them is one thing altogether, but it needs to be very moderate. And together with that, we inculcate and we, uh, we bring about the, the, the aspects of Islam and the values of Islam, how Islam focuses on, you know, giving the proper tarbiyah and training to children in their infancy, because they are like wax. If you mold them in that age, then they will mold into any shape that you would mold them into by uh, rectifying their character, so on and so forth. Stay tuned with us, keep watching Madani channel, keep sharing these videos via the social media and we have come to the end of our today's program and episode. We discussed the Eid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again at the end of our episode we make this dua that he azza wa jalla forgives us our major and minor sins until tomorrow. Stay good, be good, do good and wherever you are, remember I must strive to reform myself and the people of the entire world. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remember